on today's video, I'd like to address a question that I keep getting every single day, which is, if you weren't a sponsored content creator in Rise of Kingdoms, would you still play the game? In this video, we're gonna go over the reasons why I still play the game, as well as the reasons why I think you should still keep giving this game a shot. So yeah, sit back, drop a like on the video, and let's go. YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Today, I really wanna address the big elephant in the room. Really, a ton of people have been asking me this, and I'm like, why is this a thing? But I'll answer this here once and for all and give you guys a few reasons why I think you should still give Rise of Kingdoms your time and effort. Before we start though, I am a sponsored content creator by Rise of Kingdoms, and if you enjoy Rise of Kingdoms content and want more guides, vid war videos, coverage of Lost Kingdom, and all that good stuff, we do all that in this channel. Make sure you drop a subscription, turn on the bell to get a notification every time we upload a new video. And one more thing, I'm aware T uh, Attila was nerfed, uh, Constantine got a buff, we're gonna talk about that in a video, I think on Friday. I really wanna ask some questions and get some answers before I formulate my opinion on this. So put a pin on that, we're gonna talk about it, I promise, and tomorrow, by the way, is the birthday stream. I think we'll start it at 4 p.m. UTC and go from there, I don't know, we'll see. Hope to see you all there, come there, just drop a like on the stream is fair and more than I can ask for, really. All right, so I've been playing Rise of Kingdoms for about 522 days. The way I found out about Rise of Kingdoms was through another content creator who was doing Lord's Mobile content like I was, and except I had stopped making videos for about a year and some, and uh, he decided to shift towards Rise of Kingdoms, and I saw an ad on Twitter that they're looking for content creators. So I figured, give this game a shot, figure out if I enjoy it, and if I do, it's a new avenue to make content. For me, my YouTube channel is my uh, way to express some creativity. It's my way to get in touch with you guys. I've mentioned this multiple times. The people at work, the people in my day-to-day -day life don't even know I do YouTube. I use this as an outlet to be something that I want to be and not necessarily something that I currently am as a uh, software engineer, as someone who has more responsibilities in a bigger company. I'd like to one day transition into running my own company doing YouTube and not only mobile and potentially branch to more things, but we'll get there one day. I've been playing the game for 522 days. The reason I still play is not only because I am a sponsored content creator, but also because this is my avenue to do what I like to do. But that's not the main reason why I play Rise of Kingdoms, and it's also not a reason for you guys to keep playing. So let's talk about a few things that make me happy about the game and why I think you should still keep giving the game a shot. The first thing is some of the in-game mechanics are super cool and relatively unique. I really do dig the new thing that they added. For some of you, this is not new, but we came into Rise of Kingdoms without having the ability to move on the open map freely. I really enjoy this, uh, this mechanic, this ability of the game to let you position troops in places, target specific marches, move yourself to position yourself closer to a target before attacking it. There are so many mechanics in the game like this one, which really make me enjoy what I do. When I wanna go hit some bot that's farming resources to sell, I know I can very easily move my mar marches super close to the target, and then once I'm where I need to be, without alarms ringing in his phone, I can smack him, and before he even knows what happened, it is over. There are so many mechanics in Rise of Kingdoms that we can talk about from Ark of Osiris and Osiris League to many others such as having these barbarians moving around, having the barbarian keeps and forts which are a grind but they are getting better. The mechanics of the game are fairly cool and I think that it's one of those things we really take for granted as well this is the game. It, it, it is but it's not that common. In Lords Mobile, for example, which is the game I played before, you can't just stop the march in the middle of the field. You have to go to a target or come back. 
You have to figure out what you're doing. You have to, your marches at March, they, they, don't, they don't have that freedom. I like very, very much this. I think that Lilith really hit a home run with these mechanics. Although there are some things they still could fix and tweak. The other thing that I really dig about this game is its historical context. I know that for some of you, this might be a bit ridiculous, but still, Yi Song Ye had a, has a whole history on what's behind him. And I really enjoy seeing these, uh, these different commanders and where they came from and what they came from and try to understand how Rise of Kingdoms are showing the Rise of Kingdoms through commanders. And so I do enjoy that about this game quite a bit. The second thing that really I, I, think I really like about this game, and it's not necessarily about the game, it's the people. What you need to understand is as long as the people you're around are people you enjoy being around, the game is fun. Whether you like it or not, most people who quit or have issues with the game are people who are not necessarily surrounded by the right people. Because those of you who are surrounded by the right people might complain from here to the end of the world about the lag and about the commanders being too expensive and about all that good stuff, but you still log in every single day. Why? Because you're surrounded with people that you want to be surrounded with. And so I really, really like the folks of JWM. I think that the, the name that they have is completely uh, out, of, out of context in, in every shape or form. I enjoy being part of the JWM family. And even though I've been saying for a little while now that I think I need a little bit of a change to do a little bit of a refresh of the content of the channel as well as get to meet new people, I, I still even haven't even made up my mind whether it's something that I want to do or not, just because I do really enjoy being around these folks. And they are the reason I still log in every single day for 522 days now. And heck, there are people that I used to play with in Kingdom 58 that I'm still in touch with. There are people who I warred with in Lost Kingdom that I'm still in touch with. And so it's the people that matter. And that's a very big reason why I still play the game. Find yourself in a good alliance with good people and you'll notice how the game is quite a lot more fun than being around toxicity. The third thing is one that I've kind of mentioned, but I'll say it again, content. For me, YouTube is my avenue of a little bit of a expressing my creativity. It allows me to, to do things, to do what I enjoy doing, what I like doing as a, as a hobby for now, which is making content. I think that making content allows you to interact with people from across the world. And I really enjoy that aspect of it. And so, yes, sometimes the game is tough on content. Uh, it's not that I didn't have a video to make today or didn't know what to do. There's plenty to do and talk about. But sometimes we, we've had situations where it's like, what the heck am I uploading today? There's nothing going on in the game. So content is one of the reasons I do play the game. I, I find it as a good avenue for me to express my creativity. And as part of that, my being a sponsored content creator allows me the, this direct avenue to Lilith to ask questions and to get you guys more information. And that is my fourth point, Lilith. Whether you guys like it or not, whether you guys like them or not, whether you guys have anything and for the record, I've never been told, I'm, I've not signed absolutely anything that tells me I have to be positive towards them. I've never been told I cannot be critical of them. I've never once in a year and something worth of making content, 522 days we're making content, not once they've told me, listen, you are being too negative on us or too harsh on us or too unfair on us, ever. They've always taken my criticism. They've thanked me for my feedback. They, they've never, turned a, a, a cold shoulder on, on me. And whether you guys like it or not, they've never turned a cold shoulder on the community. I can tell you that as someone who played other mobile games, such as Lords Mobile, IGG has zero, zero communication with the community, zero. You have no clue what they'll do. They don't fix anything. The fact that Lilith even tries is good enough for me. The fact that Lilith even tries to continue to innovate, to get in touch with us, to send patch notes. I mean, it, th these things are 
are something that we take for granted and we get mad because they're not doing their job because there's way too much lag because there's all that stuff and all that's legitimate. I also am very critical of Lilith and you guys know this. I've never saved in words. I always speak my mind and I've, I truly have said some things to the folks at Lilith, which you wouldn't even believe. I've told them more than once that they are unfair about things. I've told them more than once that they are, are being ridiculous about the ways, the ways they do things. And they've never once told me, listen, shut up or we pull your sponsorship or shut up or we cut you off and never talk to you again. Never. And so whether you like it or not, Lilith are doing the best they can. Unfortunately, the game outgrew the company. The game truly outgrew the company and it's, it's, they're still playing catch up to this day. Add to that coronavirus and what, what's going on lately in China. And man, I mean, I know they're not, you guys will never give them a break because you, a few of you feel as, as though since I'm paying a customer, I should be treated the way I think I should be treated. And I understand that. I think Lilith do a decent enough job that they, they try. Sometimes they fail and sometimes they don't try enough, but they at least try. And that's a reason why I, I still give this game some hope. Do you think that, do I think this game is dying? I don't. The game is growing, period. Do I think the game has a potential to die? It does. It truly does. Because there are a lot of decisions that are being made that are not necessarily, at the end of the day, they're not serving the purpose of the game. But... No company is perfect, no game is perfect, and you know, I think that Lilith do a decent enough job. Why do I think that you should keep playing the game? First and foremost, those of you who have invested into the game already, at any point in time you can decide to cut off your investment, sure, but you have a, an account that is fairly stacked, that is in a good shape, and you can enjoy your time. So you don't need to take this necessarily as the most competitive thing on earth, but if you decide to log in once or twice a day just to go hunt barbarians, to talk to your folks, to do your thing, why not? A good example of that is this alliance right here that I'm sitting next to, the folks of MB. These guys are part of Keep Them 59, 50, they're chilling. I've never really had any conversations with these folks. And they're not like the tier five crazy big alliance in this game, but they do their thing. They're chill people. They come to hang, they do their thing. Our three C's, come hang out, come and go as you please, casual group that will help. This is the kind of things that, uh, that I, I like about this game. And so you don't necessarily have to play the game at the top tier to have fun. I think that there is so much more that Lilith have plans for and there is so much potential in the game that just requires of Lilith to make some changes in the way they make decisions and to put a little bit of extra into the game and it can really get go to a different level. Of course, this is a pay to win game. Pay to win games do have an expiration date for sure, 100%. It's not a competitive game in most cases. Osiris League is a little bit more competitive, but it also does have some free to, from, from pay to win aspects into it. With all that being said, I think the reason I play Rise of Kingdoms is the people. It's the game mechanics that I still really love and I really enjoy. And I find the, the pleasing aspects of being able to surround people, being able to send two marches this way, three marches that way, join them, move them. The mechanics is something that still keeps me in the game. The people keep me in the game by a lot. It's it, the good people, having good people, you guys, the community, the amazing community of Rise of Kingdoms. And the content, the content for me is, is, it's a place for me to have, to express myself. For the record, I never script my videos, ever. I talk to you guys from the heart. I've never scripted a single Rise of Kingdoms video, ever. Everything I say comes from here and from here. And that's who I am. And that's why I play the game. That's why I make content. And that's why I enjoy it, you know? <laughs> This is what I did to prepare for this video. I don't know if you guys can see it. I wrote four points as to why I enjoy the game. That's about that and the camera went crazy. That's all that I did to prepare. And it's not that I didn't formulate my thoughts and opinions in my head, but when I speak to you, I speak to you from me. And it's also why it's hard for me to lie to you. It's hard for me to to try to cheat you because you'll notice it like that. And it's why I again and again am very critical of Lilith of things because I just don't know how to keep my mouth shut. 
because that's who I am. And it's why I play Rise of Kingdoms. It's why I do content and it's why I'm still here. I hope this answered this question once and for all. And I hope you guys do enjoy the content I make. Whether you guys believe it or not, I am very, very, very keen on your feedback. And some of the feedback I do implement. When I've done uh, content about Lost Kingdom, people told me that these things and those things need to change. And you guys saw the changes in the videos. If you guys have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, anything for me that you guys want me to change, you're welcome to leave me a comment down below as well as hit me up on Discord, which is in the description down below. The reason I play Rise of Kingdoms is that I do believe this game still has longevity. I do believe that there are good people and a good community in here. And you never know, maybe this all will change in a month. But for now, Rise of Kingdoms is in a, in a relatively good place. I think that there are a lot of things that need to change. We've been very critical of light and darkness, especially the lag in there. We've been a little bit critical about things in Osiris League. We've been a little bit critical about drop rates of barbarian forts. We've been quite critical about how commanders come out and how fast they come out and all that good stuff. But Lilith are doing a good job to an extent to try to cater to us while maintaining their long-term vision and their development plan, which isn't, you know, let's get into the office, check Discord, see why people are mad and fix it. They have a long-term plan. They have things they're working on. They've been working on for months to release in a week or in two weeks or in a month, whatever it is. And so their turnaround time might not be that good, but I still think that there's enough meat in here for all of us to enjoy the game quite a bit. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'm Gecko, I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Drop a like on it before you leave. And uh, yeah, take care. Peace.